playing in a group. Let's just go ahead and finish this board, then we'll be done with reading forums. Hi there, I'm Black Cat in Heart. <laughs> this is that's actually a really cute screen name, I like that. This is my first post, so I'm kind of nervous. I have a question of sorts. The other day I ended up becoming the leader of a group, but it was my first time, so I didn't quite know what to do, and I'm afraid I made things unpleasant for the other party members. Actually, they told me to my face how much I sucked. That's horrible. What are some things that I should do to be better, or to lead a better, to better lead a party? There we go. I'm on top of things. I eagerly await your instructions. The main thing to keep in mind when leading a party is to have a good strategy before setting out. Decide who will play what role within the party. Make sure everyone knows who will attack, who will heal, etc. Make a well-balanced party. As much as possible, try to create a party that is well-balanced in both offense and defense. The ideal is two swordsmen and one cleric. Choose an area appropriate for your party. The odds will only be against you if you try to go to an area with monster levels that are over your head. A straightforward approach is to an area with a level that fits your party. Uh, wait, I'm trying to parse the sentence. A straightforward approach to an area with a level that fits your party. There we go. We'll do much more to raise your experience and fill your inventory. That was a very, very long subject. That's why I got confused. Don't do that when you're writing things. Double check your expendable items. Make sure you know beforehand who has how many HP and SP recovery items as well as resurrection items. If there's someone with no items, be prepared to share some of your own when necessary. That's about all I can think of. I know your actions during battle are also important. For example, giving clear orders that fit the immediate battle situation and making sure to pull off rengekis when the chance presents itself. Have a good grasp of, use how, of when to use awakening. I also think that the leader needs to be brave or be decisive enough to run away from a battle when needed. Mitan. I guess double checking items and area settings is the leader's job. I left it up for someone else to do that the last time I became leader. The next chance I get, I hope I will be able to, to handle these things effectively. Thank you for your help. Harley. I'm sorry, could you be more specific? It would really help me out if you could provide me with some specific examples of what you mean. I'm sorry to be so selfish after you went out of your way to teach me. Okay, here are some examples. Giving clear orders that fit the battle. There are times during battles when your prearranged plans have no effect. When this happens, the leader is expected to have the ability to form a new strategy that meets the needs of the battle on the spot. To be more specific, not much damage is being dealt to an enemy. Have everybody attack at once, or attack all at once, or conserve SP and make it into an endurance fight. Recovery can't keep up with the damage received. Have more people help with healing, or use a smoke screen and retreat. Make sure to pull off Rengekis given the chance. To ensure you can use Rengekis when necessary, don't go crazy on your skill trigger. That's a good, good suggestion. <laughs> if you use the skill trigger too much, there will be times when you have a chance for a chain attack, but you can't use the skill trigger, so you miss your chance. To prevent this, you'll need, a limit in t in you'll need to limit the times you use the skill trigger. For example, in my case, I only use the skill trigger during the following. As soon as the battle starts, when the enemy targets a party member with little HP, when the enemy tries to use a skill. Those are good uh, settings there. Limits. Have a good grasp of when to use Awakening. This is basically the same as the skill trigger. Awakening is a powerful method of attacking, but if you use it too early, you just wasted it and it didn't have that big of an effect. For example, use it when fighting a strong boss level enemy. When your companions are in trouble, or one, use it when fighting a strong boss level enemy. Two, use when your companions are in trouble. Three, use it to defeat an enemy wielding status ailments such as sleep, etc. How's that? Did that help? Oh yes, definitely. Thank you for all your help. The next time I become a leader, I will do whatever I can so my party members will prove of me. Good. Big Chim Chim. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is a short one. Nice to meet you all. I'm Den Dekeden. 
<laughs> That's a funny name, I like that. The other day I broke a barrel in a dungeon and a strange chim came out of it. Then the chim, or chim chim came out of it. Then the chim chim attacked me. I was surprised and inadvertently ran away, but what on earth was it? Could someone please tell me? I'd appreciate it. It came out of a barrel, right? In that case, it was probably King Chim Chim. King Chim Chims are a special kind of Chim Chim. However, it's not a monster. Normal Chim Chims will drop Chim Sears and run away if you kick them. But King Chim Chims will get mad and counterattack you if you try to kick them. King Chim Chim's main attack is a mid-air breath attack. There will be a faint shadow underneath where the King Chim Chim will land, so try to maneuver yourself behind the landing spot so as not to get crushed, then kick him several times upon his landing. Once you defeat a King Chim Chim, you should receive a large number of Chim Spheres. Good luck. Hmm, okay, so they're called King Chim Chims. I never would have thought there was any kind of Chim Chim around that attacked players, so it was quite a surprise. Actually, there's also the Assassin Chims. Ptolemaea, thank you for the information. The next time I see a King Chim Chim, I will do my best to take it down. Good for you. Elementals? Question mark. Hello there, I just started playing recently. That said, I have a question right off the bat. Normal RP RPGs always have elements like water and fire, right? Does the world have things like that too? I'd appreciate someone filling me in. It sure does. There are six elements together. Fire, water, wind, earth, light, and dark. But the current version do doesn't have light and dark implemented, so right now it's pretty much just the other four. Actually, there are nine elements in total. Fire, water, wind, earth, light, dark, neutral, physical, magical. Among these, fire and water, wind and earth, and light and dark are connected as opposing elements. Opposing elements are elements that cancel each other, and each element's opposite element is also its weak point. For example, fire monsters are weak against water, and water monsters are weak against fire. Neutral is just that, an element that doesn't belong to any of the other six. Physical refers to regular attacks and attack arts performed with the X button. Magical, on the other hand, refers to all spell attacks. Anyway, that's a rough explanation. I hope it helps. Thanks a lot. If I have any more questions, I'll be sure to ask. Oops. No! I wasn't finished. We have a couple more. Alright. No, more. More than a couple more. We have four. Alright, Ninja Chim. I came across a strange Chim Chim. I was just... Oh, it's the same guy with the, with the King Chim Chim. Den Decaden. <laughs> I was going through another dungeon when all of a sudden... A huge number of Chim Chims came falling onto my head. During my confusion, I got hit with a concentrated attack and most of my Chim Spheres I had on me were stolen. It looked like it had eyes resembling that of a ninja, but what exactly were those Chim Chims? Could someone please ex tell me? That was a Chim Assassin. Chim Assassins are characters made to get in your way and only show up in dungeons. After a certain amount of time has passed since entering a dungeon, Chim Assassins will appear on top of the group leader's head and begin attacking. Whenever they land a hit, Chim Spheres will be stolen, so try to maneuver around to avoid their breath attacks. Or, you know, you could just hit them as soon as they land. It's pretty easy. Looking for an op look for an opportunity to counterattack and then drive them back. You can drive them back with just a single kick. Uh, although Chim Assassins can be driven away with just a single kick, they'll reappear and attack you again once a certain amount of time has passed. The amount of time it takes for them to reappear varies, but it seems that it is determined by the number of Chim Spears you possess at the time of your first vanquish. Many Chim Orbs equals quick reappearance, few Chim Orbs equals slow reappearance. Just remember this and you should be fine. So they just keep reappearing. Huh, okay, I got it. I'll try not to keep too many Chim Spheres on me. You do that. Getting lucky. Ever since you told me about them, I've been running around areas trying to catch a lucky animal. But no matter what I do, I can't seem to catch one. Don't don't those things like or run like several times faster than the player? My character is from a from the Lay tribe, but even with his speed speed, I can't catch one. How do you all go about getting a lucky animal. If you have any suggestions, please try them. Thank you. If you sneak up on a lucky animal from behind so it won't spot you, you can kick them without them running away. The trick is to sneak 
is to sneaking up behind them, or the trick to sneaking up behind them, is uh, the same as with monsters. But since lucky animals are sensitive to sound, they'll run away immediately if you try to run up near them. To approach them without being spotted, tilt the controller's left analog stick gently to walk up behind them. Good luck. If you just can't seem to sneak up on them, then the best thing to do is to chase them. Uh, if there's an object nearby, use that to distract the lucky animal long enough so you can run up to it and kick it. If there's nothing around you can use, just chase them while keeping in mind that they're running a lot more than you are. Finally, you can also use a bike to chase them down, but you can't maneuver precisely with a bike, so it might be even harder than running after them. I'm not very good at ambushing, so I'll give the Renji's method a shop. A shot, not a shop. <laughs> yes, a shop for Renji's method. Thank you both for your help. Alright, what do we got left? Working people fall in. Oh, this one's this one's a long thing. Hello everyone, I'm Soltaholic. My guild Soltmania uh, is desperately seeking new members. Players must be 30 or older in real life, both in age as well as in his or her mentality. Currently we have 12 members. Our ages range from 35 to 62, but uh, all of us old guys and gals are having fun chatting and Edward adventuring together. As most of us work day jobs or run our own businesses, our activity is mostly at night. We're open to both veterans and newbies, so please feel free to talk to any of us. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Kitty Ladle. I have a question about the evening playtime. Specifically, what times do you all usually play? My job doesn't finish until after midnight, so that's the only time I'm able to log in. Is that okay? Nice to meet you, Kitty Ladle. Our playtime is like so. Weekdays, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Saturday, 9 p.m. to... There's usually someone here after 9. <laughs> Holidays, blank to 2 a.m. There will always be someone here during the day. My job doesn't finish until after midnight. Blah, blah, blah. It's the same for me, so don't you worry. Hi there, Soltaholic. Call me Rip Van Rinkle. Do you have some sort of trial membership for this guild? I would like to experience the guild atmosphere and feel firsthand before officially joining. Is that okay? Sign me up the first chance you get. Thank you. Rip Van Rinkle, we certainly do. How does a week sound to you? Kitty Ladle, please come uh, to the beginner's home or to the beginner's guild at home in Makanu. Once you're there, just whisper me. My name's Soltaholic in the game too. I'll be there to meet you. Okay, I'll whisper you sometime after midnight tomorrow. Looking forward to it. About how does a week sound? That'll be just fine. Do I get? Do I just go to the same place as Kitty? Kitty Ladle, I'm looking forward to it myself. Glad to have you. Rip Van Rinkle, yes. Please come to the same place. Just whisper me and I'll come get you. Hooray! Everyone's happy. Medic troop. How fair these citizens! My name is Governor Tadashi of the Medic Union. I used to be known as the Hundred Man Killer as well as the Hundred Man Healer, but cough cough. It's nothing, pardon me, just my chronic disease, cough cough. <laughs> my guild is here to bring love, bravery, and healing to the world, and our battle is never ending. However, the power of evil is great. The voices yearn for healing grow yearning for healing grow louder every day. You there, you passionate, fiery ones. Don't you want to do everything you can to smash this awful situation? Well, you're in luck, because I'm searching for warriors just like yourselves. If your heart burns as hot as mine, then come and fight by my side. And let us yell together, and let it be known that healing will return to the world. I eagerly await your applications to join. Entry qualifications. As long as you have a fiery passion dancing in your heart, you're qualified to join. Oh man, we should send this thread to Piros. <laughs> Entry procedure. Look at our member list in the next response. Whisper me a color you have not found on or color not found on that list, and I'll come meet you myself to give you instructions. Cough cough. I mean praise you personally. Finally, I will give you a healing changer at home key. And with that, you'll be a member of the Medic Union too. Duties. 
protect the innocent from the attack of the black-hearted monsters sent from the evil organization, the Bad Ones. <laughs> what a creative organization name. If there are no monsters to be found, heal the people of that area. Say Nyan at the end of your sentences. <laughs> oh no. Since I govern this guild, I don't say Nyan myself. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. The powers of being a leader. Our character models are all from the two tribe. These 18 names are currently our, are our current member list. Heal Red, Private Saisaku. Heal Blue, Private Hideo. Heal Black, Private BJ. Heal Thunder, Private Osam Osamu. Thunder isn't a color. Heal Pink, Private Lady of the Lamp. Heal Orange, Private Florence. Heal Silver, Private Rintaro. Heal Curry, Private Ugai. Heal Purple, Private Agnes. Heal Carmine, Private Teles. Telesi. I don't know. Let's go with that. Tell us. See. Heal Rose, Private Amber. Heal Sand, Private William equal G. Heal White, Private Genpaku. Heal Cobalt, Cobalt Private uh, Ryotaku. Ryotaku. Okay. Heal Green, Private Doyle. Heal Carbon. Carbon is a color, I guess. Private Watson. Heal Crimson, Private Felix. Heal Iris, Private Jill. There goes the governor with his fancy talk again, Nyan. Oh, I'm the medic union leader. Uh, heal Red, Nyan. Nice to meet you all, Nyan. Oh god, that's gonna get annoying. The medic union is a guild that was made up to help people who are having a hard time in areas, Nyan. If there are people in the east with low HP, we heal them, Nyan. If there are people in trouble in the West, we help them, Nyan. Of course, having said that, there's no way we can cover all the areas with just us, Nyan. That's why we're looking for other people who will help us uh, help players, Nyan. Our governor's a bit strange, but he's a good guy, so don't be afraid to come up and see us, Nyan. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you, Nyan. Oh my god, stop it. No, stop. No more Nyans. <laughs> hmm, Nyan. I am Heal Blue, the sub leader of the squad, as well as the only one with common sense. Nyan. Strengthening the medic union? Nyan. Hmm, go ahead. Doesn't matter to me. Nyan. Huh? Nyan. Invite them to join? Nyan. Fine, I guess I'll say something. Nyan. Join our squad. Nyan. <laughs> this is so annoying. Think my way of speaking is awkward? Nyan. Leave me alone, Nyan. Sure, my pleasure. I'm pleased to to say that we already have some new recruits. Here are our 12 new members, candidates. Heal Leghorn, Private MSF. Heal Ebony, Private Bernard. Heal Maroon, Private Vitamin. Heal Moss Green, Private Junjiro. Heal Lavender, Private Yabu. Heal Ultramarine, Private Yogoro. Heal Ivory, Private Victor. Heal Indigo, Private Stein. Heal Mauve, Private Electric Frog. Heal Reddish Brown. <laughs> I like that guy's name. Private Galvani. Heal Viridian, Private Axelrod. Heal Salmon, Private Cats. We're still happily accepting new members. Come one, come all, don't be shy. Come and show us the true color of passion that resides deep in your heart. Excellent, and with that, we're done with forum reading. So I'm gonna... Ooh. Actually, I'm meant to log in, not quit. Let's, let's log in. Because I don't want to have to start from the desktop next time. There's nothing interesting on the desktop. Yeah, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, next time... Well, I guess there's... Next time is probably going to be an interesting set because a lot of the stuff that I have left is boring things that I should cut out and not bother people with. I wonder if Henneko has anything cool. Henneko, do you have anything cool? No. She's got the same stuff as last time. Okay, well, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end here. Next time we'll do stuff. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff to run around and do, so... 
that'll get done. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this set, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Dot Hack G post game fun stuff. Volume 1 Rebirth. Yes, I got that mixed up. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway, until then, hope you enjoyed the set yet again, and uh, goodbye everyone!